Frank Chandler learns that his sister, Dorothy Regent, abducted in Alexandria, Egypt, by Arabs, has escaped from them, and is presumably lost in the native quarter. The present act opens in a dimly lighted room far underground. The air is thick with smoke. Seated about the room on the floor are many men in native dress, puffing narguilas. At the far end of the room is a platform on which a group of musicians is seated. Chandu, the magician. up a pinch of that powder in the emerald box, and the next minute, here we are? I can't explain it, Bob. But it seems to me that only a minute ago we were in Yusuf's house trying to find out where Mother was. But what is this sense of time, Bob? No one knows. Sometimes a minute seems like a year, and I've known a year to pass like the shadow of a cloud. Well, do you suppose I could ever learn to do some of the things you do? Gee, it would sure be keen. I don't know. It's not given to every man to know the secrets of the East. You know, Uncle Frank, when you talk like that, you give me the creeps. And Betty said you gave her the creeps, too. You don't mean you're afraid? Why, what is there to fear? Just because I understand some things that are unknown to you. Yes, but I never saw anybody before that could do the things you do. In India, there are many men wiser than I. Wouldn't these fellows sitting around here smoking their pipes pass out if they knew how we got here? Gee, I bet their eyes would pop right out. To them, we are Arabs, like themselves. And mind you, Bob, I didn't say we came here by any occult means. You said that. Well, listen. First, we're at home in California, not even thinking about seeing you. Then we get a telegram saying you're coming home from India. That's right, isn't it? Of course. Well, no sooner do you arrive than funny things begin to happen. A Hindu or somebody hangs around the house. And finally breaks into Father's laboratory that hasn't been opened since Father died in 1916. You must admit that Hindu burglars are kind of scarce. Yes, I'll admit that. But remember, I knew he was going to break into the house. Ah, you see, that only goes to show I'm right about it being funny. Because how did you know? You saw it in a crystal gazing ball over in India. I'm not trying to convince you I haven't certain powers that most of your acquaintances don't possess. I have, and I studied for ten years in the Far East to acquire them. But don't think everything I do is tinged with the supernatural. I'm not a ghost or anything like that, you know. Well, will you answer me one question? If I can, without revealing secrets I'm sworn to conceal. Well, did you see Father over here in 1916 before he was drowned or well, supposed I... to be drowned? I'd seen him some time before. Why? Because Betty and I figured out that you must know something about those dangerous secret papers that were stolen from our house. Why would you be so excited about getting them back? I suspect something of their content. But I don't know. The things we all saw in the crystal ball in your home in California convinced me I'm on the right track. 
Well, what do you think it is? Can't you tell me? Gee, I won't tell anybody. No, I can't, Bob. Someday you'll understand it all, I hope. If I fail, but I can't fail. It would be too terrible to contemplate. Okay, I won't ask you again. But you know, if you ever do want to tell me so I can help yes, you... Yes, I know, Bob, and I appreciate it. But especially since you already know something of the length to which these men of rock stars will go. Well, did you think we'd find Mother here? Why, I don't see any women at all. I think we'll find her here. I have good reason to think so. Do you understand what these fellows are saying, Uncle Frank? You won't dare to speak English if you want to ask about Mother, will you? There is a way by which we may understand them. And I think the time has come to put it to the test. If it is successful, you will understand them as though they spoke in English. I want you to understand them. So you will know just what to do. Gee. We may have to fight to get her out of here. Don't worry. I won't mind that. I'd fight the whole place single-handed to get Mother back. You know that. Then listen. Be silent. Listen for the psychic bell. Pay no attention to what I say. But fix your mind on the bell. If I succeed, you will understand the man who is just coming out on the platform. Do you see? I think so. I, I'll do my best. my teacher, far across the sea. I ask for your help. By the hidden secrets of the three times three, I call upon you to help me in this hour. Make clear to me and to my helper the secret language spoken in this place. I hold the emerald casket and its magic powder. Selling up this place will begin. Did you understand what he said, Bob? Yes. Yes, I did. Sounds just like English to me. I thought he said, the selling of the slaves will begin. He did say that. And I am right. The power is mine. Gee, but now what? Wait. I bring before you Natasha. With skin like milk and eyes like blueberries. Her voice is the voice of the nesting bird. And her hands are the caress of the perfume breeze in a garden. Why, Uncle, what is he doing? He's not selling that girl, is he? Yes, I'm afraid he is. But look at her. She's only a girl. And she's no Arab. Why, he said her skin was like milk, and it is. She's a white girl. Hush, Bob. We've got to get your mother out of here, remember. Make even a little disturbance. And they'd be honest like a lot of horns. Let's not start a fight until we have to. But, Uncle... Hush. Whose will she be, this lovely mimosa blossom? This snow white child. She's fair as the dawn. And she dances like a pomegranate blossom in the sun. I ask you for an offer. What's the matter? Is? What's the matter? Is? Two. Three. Four. Only four pounds for this lovely daughter of New Yorker. Come, my master. Frida, Frida, watch my beard. Pull her down. And she shall go to Arthur Bay. Wait, she's no older than Betty. We can't let him have her, Uncle Frank. Now, Bob, keep out of this. We've got to find your mother. Oh, I know it, but it seems awful. We could... Here you, my master. There's another. Also white and older. See her raven hair. See her tiny feet. Her eyes are blue as the garment of Isis on the bowl of heaven. See her and say how much she will give. Mother, mother, here we are. This way, Bob, up to the platform. Come on, here we are, Doc. Hold on. Right on the spot. Come on, right through here. Up those stairs, through the archway. Oh, we're nearly there. Wait. Where's Bob? Tell me, Mother. Gee, I couldn't let that fat old man have her. Have who? That girl, Natasha. I grabbed her away from him, and here she is. Come on, Natasha. Here comes Abdel, or whatever his name is. Oh, boy, and is he mad. (laughs) 